making the mess, not the other species, because we're not following our dharma. So the bona fide spiritual master, he's a representative of Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. And he teaches the people, those who are willing to learn, which is a very small number, unfortunately. And the bona fide spiritual master teaches the students how to be dharmic, how to live in terms of one's actual duty to become self-reliant. One can do this, there are different orders in the Vedic culture. There's Ramacharis, there's householders, there's the retired people, there's the sannyasis. Whatever order you're in, you can pursue self-realization. As a Brahmachari student, as a married person, a householder with a wife and children, a job, or a retired person or a renounced person, in any order of life, one is meant to pursue the pathway of self-realization. If all you do is earn money and come home and surf on the internet, you're throwing your life down the drain. You might as well just flush yourself down the toilet. Is it? You haven't accomplished anything. Well, I'm economically well situated. I have a car. I have a nice apartment. Much better than people back in Nepal. So what? You haven't accomplished anything. Even if you achieve the post of Lord Brahma, the, the chief demigod of the entire universe, without bhakti, it's a waste. Because Lord Brahma has to die also. He has a tremendous lifespan. If you study the Vedas, you will know that Lord Brahma lives for 311 trillion years. But what is the value of 311 trillion years if in your next birth you become a dog? You become self-realized, you don't remain caught up in karma chakra. You see, the, the real reality is <clears throat> we are all residents of a spiritual world. We actually are associates of God himself, Krishna or Ram, and many different incarnations, but the original, they're all, they're, there's one supreme personality of God, but he manifests in different leelas as Krishna, as Ram, as Yashinga, as Vamana, as Matsya, as Kurma. He has unlimited incarnations, but he's one person taking on different roles or different purposes. But we're actually all associates of that original Supreme Person. We've forgotten, we've been caught up here in Karma Chakra for so many millions and billions of lifetimes, we've totally forgotten who we actually are. We don't know who we are. We identify with the body, a particular family, a particular nation. That's not who you are. You're not a member of a particular nation of this world. That's not your actual identity. It's like I'm born in America, U.S., U.S. passport.